my mom was very passionate about trying to figure out what else could be done and she was very frustrated with the lack of effort that she felt was being done for Kevin. She was advocating for him to go on, you know, activities or adventures just to, to keep him from sitting in his room all the time. Um, and, you know, I definitely saw the value in that because, you know, anybody who sits in their room for a long period of time, it can be depressing and um, disheartening, let alone a person who is already experiencing blindness, deafness, confusion as to why they're in the position they're in, and then you just leave them in a room. It's, it's tough to expect that person to grow or develop in a positive way. He was, he was involved with the Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, it was a big one that he did a lot of activities through. I think he did some horse riding activities through that. and um, So I think that was the biggest one that he was involved in, was just that Wounded Warrior Project. He definitely got a lot of apparel from it and uh, was, I guess, the biggest, biggest help for my mom at that point in time, too. The people that were taking care of him would drive him up to our our church, our home. Uh, they, we did one vacation up in Brainerd, Minnesota that they actually had a person with him 24-7. Uh, so he still got to be a part of the family to an extent. We had him over for family dinners or movie nights or whatever, but he never he got to spend the night at home or officially live at home after, after the accident. This video was produced by Brainline, thanks to generous support from the Infinite Hero Foundation.